let's just get our screen up and small cameras back. Um, this is the screen we've had up for forever now because uh, we're going to be in this little village for some time probably. We've got a lot of stuff to do here. We have to um, edit MP make the NPCs, create their dialogue, um, give the first quest that, lead that will lead out of this village and then we'll get to make a foresty field place where we'll have the first battles of the game and yeah the first part of that story's been written so i'm excited to start that bit oh that's great to hear what kind of rpg game are you making well beer if you would like to read more about the project here we are it's made on rpg maker which is an absolutely great piece of software for people that aren't even game developers it's very easy to use and pick up i used it when i was a kid the community is really good there's lots of default assets and community assets that are available to use which we're mainly using for this though at times i might create my own assets we currently i'll just give you guys a little peek we're currently making here we go where's it gone where's that bloody barrel gone we're currently making um, a, an avatar of a barrel and it's going to be a sentient barrel so uh, it's going to have a face and we're going to decide on its face together today. I, I was just like I need to do the bottom part of the barrel as well and I might need to make that a bit thicker so I'll be finishing that off later. So yeah some of it will be my own essays but literally probably 10% of them will be my own and that might be edits i might make a lot of edits of some of the existing um assets um, but really this project more than anything is just a community collaborative project it's something we're all writing together and being silly with and being creative we're all sharing ideas and stuff so i'm going to show you guys an example of what i've been trying to set up in discord today uh, okay, let's get Discord up. Here we go. It's dark mode. Who likes dark mode Discord here? So, yeah, like Rex says, it's a community driven game, so we're not entirely sure what it's going to be about. Kind of like written as we go. Going to be real silly. Yeah, exactly. There's um, One of the questions I got asked a couple of streams ago is what is going to be what is this game going to be about? I get asked that quite a lot, but we don't have a clue. It's going to, it's all improvised as we go. So, um, yeah, that's going to, that makes it fun, I think, that we don't even have a clue what's coming up. We have no idea. And it's going to be probably a mishmash of genres as well. Um, someone asked what genre it was as well. And although I say fantasy with medieval, I'm, it's not like going to be 100% fantasy medieval, I'm sure. There's going to be some real bizarre genre combinations in this game over time. <laughs> Who knows? Make him a comedian so he can be a barrel of laughs. Yeah, and I, I mean, Rex is like, do you, what, how do you say? Is it Sundia? Sundia? That, uh, the anime term for, for a character that's very cold and angry at first, but then slowly opens up to being they become like more affectionate over time and so that's basically going to be the personality of our barrel it was decided on a poll and with a bit of cheekiness thrown in as well because cheeky also drew with that on the poll so because there's a bit of cheeky thrown in it probably will be a bit of comedy that barrel will it's going to be the comic relief character for sure i have no doubt about that that sounds really cool though. The whole scenery is wonderful. Dark mode is best to be honest. Thank you, Beer. It's awesome to see new 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 faces stop in and say such nice things. I appreciate that. It's really pretty, huh? I'm fond of that starting area. Yeah, I, I'm trying to like uh, be, do a good job with the level design, with the tile sets I, I find and use. I try to, I want to try and make the places look unique and not just a boring typical village if you know what I mean it's going to be super fun to make more villages and towns out in the game and with your guys help as well I'm excited <laughs> but um, anyway this I've got my discord up this is my actual main discord here 
that you got that will be like doing this stuff in but i did make a test discord so i've been i didn't want to do this in the real discord this week because it would have you guys would have had so many notifications and stuff so i uh i made a separate discord to practice in i've got myself two bots here <laughs> I've, I've given them a yeah I've, I've named them like that for just tidiness and you'll see what i mean in a minute and we've got a Carol the Barrel bot, believe it or not. <laughs> right, and I'll, I'll explain what each of these bots do and what I've actually done. I think I hope that it's simple. I'm hoping that this solution's super simple. It's it took me a lot of work to decide how I was going to handle this, and a lot of I downloaded so many bots to see what worked best. But I'm quite satisfied with what we got. I hope you're ready to see it. Sundia or something. Have I, have I pronounced it right? I've always never known how to pronounce that word. I think it's a silent T, isn't it? They clearly love the protag, but show in a borderline violent way. So Carol the Barrel needs to get jealous when the protag talks to other girls. Yeah, because Carol the Barrel is, she's a female. Um, she's obviously a female with the name Carol, and she's going to have a female face as well. There was a face that Rex posted in the poll that we're going to try and base it on. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I hope we can do her face today. Hope we can add that face. And Geeky Go, oh my goodness, how are you doing? You fabulous human being, I have missed you. Hope you're having a fantastic Monday. But right guys, I hope you've got your ears and eyes peeled because I'm going to be explaining how this is all going to work. We're going to transfer it to my Discord today. Um, some of it anyway. Some of it I might have to slowly add over the week. Um, but we're going to try and get the main stuff in the Discord today. And don't forget we're streaming this on Wednesday and Friday this week too. Which is nice. I like streaming this every other day. Because the Tuesday and Thursday allow me time to sort things out and prepare the next stream. I'm having a blast. I'm having a great Monday. How about you? I'm doing awesome Geeky Goat. We're uh, doing Raindrop, Raindrop Chronicles today. and I don't know if you've read about the Project Geeky Goat. I'm not 100% sure if you've read about it. But we're doing this full time on stream from now on. So things are, things are going, going well. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Okay guys, so um, this is the first example. Well, I'll just explain what these are. I hope you can see the text. I hope it's not too small. Um, we've got the main story, community polls and voting only polls. So voting only polls are like ones where you guys aren't going to be writing submissions. So for example, we've got this question here, which I'm going to be asking you guys today. What should our hero be? A silent protagonist or a talking protagonist? It's a, it's a very important decision, that one is. Also, that's just another version of how the poll could look. But I think I prefer that poll for that question because that one has a, a bit of bias to it. So um, it's pretty easy to do it. It's pretty easy all after have to do is that but you guys can't chat in this channel all you can do is vote so we're gonna put we're gonna transfer that in the poll which is this one here um over to my discord in a bit so you guys can vote on that one um i've given it a question mark icon rather than have its name a simple poll because it's just a little bit tidier and question mark represents a question so whoop and, and this is another type of poll we've got. Um, this is an example of the first poll question we had, which was what was, is the forest village called? And I've put in every, everyone's actual submissions that they added. Um, and um, it's, it's pretty easy to do this. It, you, you actually don't type it in the chat. You do it this way. We've got a special channel for submissions called Submissions here. And all you have to do to submit your answer is exclamation mark and community polls, which is the name of the channel, and what you want to submit. So <laughs> just a bunch of letters. And when it's in, the text disappears and it gets transferred over to community polls. And it's right there. So it's got submitted by Rose Rainblood. It gets your name and um, it's there forever until I delete it. 
But the only problem is we need a, a reaction thing because the heart, the high heart icon is what you guys vote on. By the way, the star, the star is just there to show what the winner was. When when the poll closes and we've got the votes in, I'm going to put a, a random star there to indicate which one won it. Um, it was actually like full, so uh, I will write instructions in here so people understand what to do. But it's really easy. All it involves is typing in a command. It's as simple as that. So um, how the, how we get the heart reactions up is this. I'll show you guys. This is what Carol the Barrel does. So um, I made Carol the Barrel myself the carol the barrel bot and it's hosted myself by me so the only problem currently with this bot is that it only comes online if the computer's on and if the window is open so i've just opened the window now and carol the barrels come online which means when i've done this and i submit to community polls the heart reaction is there automatically because that's Carol the Barrel's job to um, put the heart reaction there automatically so I don't have to do it myself. So, um, and you guys can't add your own reaction. You shouldn't be able to talk in the channel either. It's literally just for submitting and stuff. Hey, you kunk, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. But there's a lot of you that, like, I... I will have to write the rules down because some people aren't going to understand how to do this, but it's very straightforward. And um, I'm, I will, I am thinking of getting that put on some sort of host website so I can, so it'll be open twenty four seven. But I, I want a free service. So ideally, I don't have to pay monies. But for now, it's fine. We'll just leave. We'll have to just leave it open have to keep my computer on all the time i've heard it's better if you leave your computer on though right i heard a rumor that leaving your computer on all, all day or night is actually better for it because booting it up can make it have a shorter lifespan i never knew this but apparently and kunk i hope you're having a great week how have you been kunk so let's get rid of that submission delete and also the thing with this um there's no way to close the the poll. The people can still react like months on if they want. So these will all be deleted when the poll closes. But I want to create a sort of I want to take screenshots and archive them myself. So we've got records of all of these because um, that'll be cool. And I've just done the same for the main story as well. It works the exact same way. So it's it's pretty pretty simple, and I have I have my Discord in compact mode as well. Uh, if it's on cozy, it's a, it doesn't look quite as tidy, but it's still it's the best way to get it. So um, I usually have it on cozy mode, but I've recently changed it to compact mode. It's sunny outside, even if it's cold. So the spring is here. Yay! Spring is here. What's everyone's favourite season? I, I quite like spring, but I get hay fever, so that's that's the downfall. Cozy mode, yeah, cozy mode. It it, it 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 took some getting used to actually, but I think I prefer it now. This is how it looks in the Discord. People's avatars aren't there. Yeah, some people don't like it, but I do. <laughs> Autumn, you like autumn? Autumn's nice. It's very pretty. We've had a great week. It's nice to be here again. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to have you here too, Kung. Summer. Cannon is a summer guy. He likes going outside. I don't know this track in the background. I don't know what Final Fantasy this is from. Maybe 13? Or one of the 13s? Maybe I'm wrong. Mind winter when you, you're very cozy in an electric blanket or by the fire, it can be quite cozy then, but not if you're naked. No, uh, right? So, yeah, I've I've run through that with you guys. Um, I'm gonna keep this little practice channel just so I can uh, 
do the old submissions and take screenshots of them and we today i don't know if we get well i don't know if we're going to do any community polls today but we're definitely going to have some voting only polls this one in particular so we're going to we're going to put that one over to my discord for now uh, i'm also thinking of change i'm kind of tempted to delete some of these because this one for example isn't really relevant now because we do all that with the polls uh side quest ideas i'm thinking of treating that the same way as how we treat these two so people can submit what side quests this way um oh my gosh it's my favorite one of my favorite final fantasy 7 tracks uh okay i'm gonna i'm gonna prob i'm gonna delete these chance but i want to save all this because i don't want to lose what people have already suggested so I'm going to open an alt fad, pack, copy and paste it all, delete them and add the new ones. And we're going to do Carol the Barrel once we've done this. But I want to get today's poll in the Discord ready. It's nice, it's well inside, it's nice, but not out, yeah. It's all, I actually don't mind if it's still and fresh. The worst weather for me is um, wind, wind and with rain combined. But I don't mind really cold weather if it's not windy. Do we need the news and updates channel? Part of me thinks, I don't know because, I don't know. We need that one. Delete, we'll delete that one because we're... Save all these. Time for you to head home, have a safe journey home, Callan. Thanks for hanging out with us. You all behave. When when do we not behave? We're always good here. But yeah, I'm I'm actually okay with doing the voting on Discord. Now what do you guys think? The only way we can do it really because doing it on websites is a problem because too many people can go in incognito and we don't get a genuine we don't get genuine results then. But this way I don't people can't really cheat on Discord unless they make an extra account, but really like you know, I mean, it's going to be pretty obvious if people are cloning accounts because we'll soon have a, we'll have a sudden surge of people join and we won't know who they are. <laughs> They'll just be random. Um, it's a great idea, yay! I'm glad you think so. This tune always gets me sappy. Interrupted by fireworks. Yeah, it's it's the song that plays during um, the. Uh, what do they call it? The guard saucer on when you see the fireworks when you're on the date, the date scene. Some people get airy, others get teeth, some even get barret. And it also plays in um, the Temple of the Ancients Kate Sif scene, which I really like. That scene always gets me emotional. I think it, it might play in other times. I'm not sure when. Okay, I think I think uh, I've saved everything. So okay. Maybe we should move this higher 
because it, it's going to be quite important. But we'll keep it down there for now. I'm not sure where we put it. If we moved it higher. Fireworks on the Ferris wheel. Final Fantasy 7. So good. It's my fave. But I'm, I'm a big fan of all the middle Final Fantasies, to be honest. Very fond of them all. Okay, so we're going to get... We're going to get this bot over first. Uh, simple pal. Okay, this one's the easiest bot to get in, so I'm going to just open a new window and do that. I'm just gl I'm glad, I'm glad I did all this off stream, though, because last week, last Monday, I was doing this, I was very clueless. I didn't know what I was doing, but I have a system in place now, at least. Hello, Moon Shadow. Oh, my goodness. How are you this fine Monday? Hope you're doing well. Had a fabulous weekend. Okay, so we're going to invite this Paul bot to our Discord. We're going to put up the poll very soon, guys, so you can have your say on if you think our hero should be a silent protagonist or a talking protagonist. It's such an important decision. It's crazy. Okie doke. Have we got the have we got the bot? We'll delete that. We don't need to say hello to Simple Paul. <laughs> Bye Simple Paul. I think we've got give him the bot roll. We had a lot of bots here. I don't, I don't we haven't even used that bot in forever. I'm also I'm I'm, I'm considering create more roles on discord for people who've got characters like giving people a role a character role for a character in the game um and maybe some other roles for people who are, who like uh submit a lot of ideas but we'll see we're not going to overwhelm ourselves too fast tattle hugs <laughs> Don't get why people hate Mondays. Today's been a beautiful and lovely day. Yeah, I for one am having a blast on Mondays because I'm streaming and you guys are here and this is super fun. <laughs> it's April Fool's and I'm not being fooled today, which I'm glad about because <laughs> I can fall for things very easily. But I'm very aware it's April Fool's today, so I'm not going to be fooled. No way. Okay, so... Uh, but I make sure I copy this channel so it's the exact same with the permissions and stuff. Can we cop can we just press copy? Clone channel? Oh, we can only clone channels that are in the same channel, I think. Um Okay, voting only parts is what it's called. permissions uh, everyone can only read messages and message history which is cool um, they can't add reactions but they'll be able to react okay simple part has to be able to do everything I'm not gonna remember all this so we have to do it one at a time Think that was right. Uh, oh, okay, that one as well. Um, I don't know this music either. Does anyone know which Final Fantasy this is from? I think they didn't have the tape, they just had that. Where's me? That's me.
I can't even remember, my memory sucks. I'm not even remembering what the permissions are. I would never fool you, Rose starts plotting. We'll see about that, won't we? Read messages and add reactions. Is that correct? Lady, Lady Discord. No, it's send messages. Okay, cool. And that one just is everything, so that's easy to remember. Hope you're ready to vote on this poll. I'm not gonna vote, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna let the votes go in. Hmm. You guys might have to test this for me, or at least one person anyway, to see if um you can definitely not do anything other than vote in this channel. Silent Lost is usually our tester. He he was the one that broke all our poll websites last week. Okay. What should our hero be? Okay. So this is super easy. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's just change the bot's name first to a question mark. <laughs> it's, it's called question mark. Question mark is a much better name than simple poll. forgot what the poll title was again. The only thing I'm, I'm wondering about, I don't know how to... We, when polls were on websites, it was easy because I could just put the link on in a command when you guys do exclamation mark polls and it'll lead you to the website. But how am I going to do this with Discord so you guys in chat can vote? Hi Dunk, welcome to the stream. A campaign? How do you mean a campaign? Like D and Day? Is that what you mean, Dunk? Plotting is a great word. That's one from Final Fantasy Sixteen. Oh my goodness, Rex is from the future. He's played Final Fantasy Sixteen. What was it like, Rex? What was it? Was it a good game? <laughs> yeah, I like D and D. This, to be honest, is this D and D comparisons to this it's basically very much uh, a project where we're making a game together and uh, improvising and collaborating so well i suppose there are some D, &D elements there in this so yeah i guess i guess i am running a campaign a very a very uh, strange one <laughs> finally have a day off kindled how are you doing i hope you're having a fantastic day I, we've missed you very much but if you do want to read more exclamation pro mark project explains everything I'm basically GMing as well it's your first time awesome so how's, how's that going tell us about your D&D &D story let's hope we don't fail too badly well it doesn't matter it's we don't have to there's nobody to impress it's all well for me I've, I've kept the expectations off myself with this project i'm because i've said it's going to be very silly it's just a silly story and <laughs> so you know it's not it's not going to be like well like perfection or anything or we're just having fun here yeah, don't worry, you'll be fine too. What should our hero be? Yeah, that's right. A silent protagonist or a talking one? I can't even spell protagonist. I'm cool with however this goes to be quite honest I 
I'm cool with either. Both of them are, would be very interesting and will change the, the direction of the game quite a lot. So it's a very important poll. And we'll delete that now that... Uh, so, okay, so we've got our, we've got the first poll in the Discord, guys. If you want to jump in and vote, you can. Now, I've got to think of an easy way to do this that's easier than having to do exclamation mark Discord. Uh, is, there another, is there a link? that work? Let's have a little test of this. There is a copy link, but bloody hell, it's a long link. But that leads right to the channel, I think. Let's have a look. I think it does so you guys can test that but if you're not currently in the discord it might that might you join for sure but if you are in the discord it will probably take you there automatically so um let's get a link short and a website so that we don't have to put a massive long link in basically your campaign takes place in 1922 germany and the players are revolutionaries seeking to stop hitler and take over Ger germany sounds cool it's, very, very, it's different setting to mine mine well i got asked what the setting of mine is and i said fantasy medieval but nothing set in stone we might go from that to modern day or the future who knows it's going to be a bloody wacky game tell you that this one I mean, we've got a sentient barrel character in the game. That says it all. We haven't even really even started any dialogue yet. And we already have a, a sentient barrel. So, yeah, that's how wacky we're going to get. Because people are voting on polls, basically. I mean, this is my test channel. And this is the kind of thing we got here in the Discord. Like, there's a they submit it by putting in the command submissions here. Blah. Yeah, that's my idea. A bunch of random letters. Oh no, sorry, I did the wrong, I did the wrong command. It's not meant to be submissions here. It's meant to be community polls. And then that just goes straight in there, and it says who submitted it, and you vote by clicking the hearts. And whoever gets the most hearts when the part before the plot poll gets deleted will be the winner and has it get I'll put a star next to that one so yeah that's an example of what we're doing we used to use an actual poll service website called poll.ly but people could cheat on there so that's the reason we've moved over to discord now and uh, yeah Pete obviously the ones that are going to get the most hearts by them are going to be some of the really unique funny ones I think so that's why the game's going to end up bonkers because people are going to vote for all the bonkers, <laughs> the bonkers submissions. Maybe we'll have to see. Bloody wacky accent, yeah, I know, right? My accent's very unique. <laughs> How are you, duck? Um, make it as good as Undertale or Stardew or Hollow Knight, yeah. We will do our best, won't we, guys? So we're writing it together. My first campaign I ever played in is where we sent a demon to North Korea. Oh my goodness, a demon. That sounds really that sounds really cool. I like demons. I'm totally not a demon, but with the name Rose Rain Blood, you never know. But I'm more of a vampire than a demon. Sended to Godhood and ended the world in New York City. Well, I hope you have fun doing that. It sounds like uh, it's, it, it will be fun for sure. Been playing tons of Borderlands 2 recently. Love this game and can't wait till 3 comes out. I 100%ed Borderlands 1 back in the day. I really love that game. I never really played much of 2 though, just because, I don't know, there was no reason for it, just didn't get around to it. But I'm sure I would have had fun with that as well. I'm glad you're doing alright, Duck. Okay, I forgot what I was doing now. Oh yeah, the link. I think I, I'm going to have to copy that again though because I lost it. Copy link. I'm going to put a command up for you guys so it leads you to the poll. And I hope it works because this is a new thing that we're testing today. We've not done polls in the Discord before.
took one to two years to complete those campaigns. Wow. I'm currently in a D&D &D campaign too, my friend, who uh, is a mod right in his channel, is the uh, DM. And we do that every two Sundays. Every other Sunday. We've had about four or five sessions now, I think. Yeah, about five. And it's going well. My character's a badass. Okay, so let's get my pot up. Uh, we've got Paul's command. Okay, so let's test that. You guys let me know if it leads to the Discord. I'm not sure what you mean, Duck, by public code. But as a game master, well, let us know how it goes, sir. Dung, I'd love to hear more about it. Okay, so uh, if anybody is able to test that, that would be awesome. Oh, we've, al we've already had votes. Holy boot butts, guys. You're already in the Discord voting, and I, I didn't even put the link in. <laughs> but this is great. Keep on voting, guys. Can we zoom in so you can see it more? Whoa. <laughs> Big text. Okay, you can see everybody here. These are all my friends, guys. These people here, <laughs> they're all my friends. Um, but yeah, uh, so just zoomed in super close so you can see what the poll is, everyone. So um, let me just absolutely spam the command in chat so you guys, if you get one of our, want to have your say if our hero is a silent protagonist or a talking one, now's your chance. Um, for those that don't happen to know, which I'm sure you do, a silent protagonist is like, you know, your, your Bethesda games, Skyrim, Fallout, you, the character you make doesn't say a word, they just, uh, they just listen to the characters around them and they're kind of mute. It's more about the others around them and the world around them with silent protagonists and it's like that in games like Stardew Valley, Zelda, um, is there any others? I'm sure there's others. And talking ones, yeah. Talking ones are like, you know, when you, you've got a protagonist Final Fantasy like Cloud or, uh, you know, the ones that talk. <laughs> I hope don't we got it to explain more than that. I always prefer a protagonist that has a personality, yeah. And it could work either way. It would, this project, however way it goes, it'll be, it'll work will make it work for whatever wins but uh, even if say silent wins silent protagonists we're going to make sure the other characters in the cast like carol the barrel and everybody's characters that they've made and npcs in general we're going to make sure they have personalities if so but it, it, it either either one has their advantages and it'll work i i totally have no preference to which one ends up winning here they're, they're all cool they're both cool so uh like do you have your code up on di no because i i don't even code like rpg maker um or do you mean i don't know <laughs> i rpg makers are very non-codey software and although there's some scripting involved which i will be doing um it's very it's quite minimal and a lot of it is found on the community forums anyway that other people have done um so yeah this this is not really a heavy coded project and at all it's more just a creative fun one and hi hgz how are you doing it's awesome to see you have you you having a good day i love that little emote peeking up there are you going to have a light or heavy voice acting or will it be all text? Well, that is another thing altogether. That is something we're all going to decide. Um, dialogue hasn't currently been written. There's not one single bit of dialogue yet for the game. So I'm going to just hide the Discord for a second. This is what this is what we've got here, guys. This is the first village for those that haven't seen. And... Um, yeah, I've just clicked on Colonel Sanders because we actually have Colonel Sanders as an NPC here. He looks nothing like him yet. I've got to edit him a bit, change the colour of his outfit and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's really easy. Like we just click add text and and then it'll all get put in there. And we have some dialogue boxes, but I haven't written anything in them yet. Um, 
um, let's just do a test play. I, turn, I think I've turned the sound off so it's not going to get confused with the background music, but we'll see. Okay, so this is a. Uh, I do. My control actually works with this, so let's plug it in. I managed to get my controller, which I think is fabulous. I'm glad it works with RPG Maker. So, um, yeah, let's load it. So I do have the dialog box itself. I've got some cute ones, but there's not really any. There's no text in them yet. Just the name boxes and. And the faces, and he looks nothing like Colonel Sanders. We have to edit him, guys. So <laughs> it's because we got a chicken, that's why KFC chicken. I think that was Rex's idea, I believe. Um, okay, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little show of what that looks like. But dialogue needs to be done, which I think we're going to be doing that this week, Wednesday and Friday streams. This stream today is going to be more about getting Carol the Barrel done, which Carol the Barrel is here. She is a sentient barrel, guys. We're going to do a face for her today. <laughs> so uh, um, we're going to finish. I'm going to just finish off doing this. We're, we're very close to getting it done. And uh, yeah, just vote on that poll, which keep voting, guys, lurkers, people just coming in. It'll lead you to the Discord. Um, if you're not currently in there, it might make you join. Well, I'm sure it will. I'm not 100% sure. You'll have to let me know, guys. How's the link work, anyway? Let me just catch, catch up with chat because I'm behind. I'm, I'm super behind. I'm not used to this. Okay. Um, oh, my goodness, guys. You guys have been babbling on. I've not even seen any of chat. Holy butts. <laughs> guys okay the hero could go around laughing all the time and his laughter should totally be tied as final fantasy 10 also guys we do just so you know our hero is a custom character you get to create him yourself and I'll, i'm going to show you guys that now actually for those that haven't seen it because i think there's a bunch of you here that might have not seen that yet but yeah it can be male or female um can add the, any hair color you want or we're gonna, I'm going to show you that now, but we have to start a new game for that. And so, which because this, the character's custom, it might would it be too difficult to give them too much of a personality? Do you know what I mean? You can also give them their own name too. So, uh, my favourite one to make is always Jesus. So let's make Jesus. I made Jesus in a, a little video clip that I put up. Also, Jesus, I'm, <laughs> Jesus, I'm slow at cat with chat today. If you do voice it acting, I'd love to do some voice acting. I haven't actually considered that because because this is such a sort of old school style RPG. Voice acting wasn't really a thing at that point, so I never actually considered it. It was all going to be just written dialogue, but who knows? It might be something we might add later on if we were to do it. I'm at the doctor's office, so if I go quiet, that's why. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope your appointment goes well, Hayley. I hope nothing, hope it's nothing too bad. Thanks for lurking. I super appreciate your tons. Just make sure you use a controller that's plugged in. Oh my gosh, yeah, that is my problem. I never have the right controller plugged in. <laughs> this game's a hit and rose. has a road studio, lol, guys. I mean, this game is just fun. It's not going to go, it's not going to... I'm going to be putting it up on the internet for free for you guys to play at, at certain intervals. Maybe after every completed chapter, I'll do that. But uh, I'm, there's not going to be profit from this. For one, the, the, I'm using pre-made assets. There'll probably be a lot of video game character references as well. So because of copyright, that would be an issue to actually release it for a price. But this was always just meant to be for fun. It's just a fun project. But I, I do have a lot of uh, desire to make video games. It's uh, something I would like to do. So I, I, I'm currently writing a video game myself, but it's kind of on the back burner at the moment, but I, I do want to make one. Hope the doctors go as well. And hi Sonic, how are you doing? I'm really behind with chat guys, I apologise. 
Um, things have, have suddenly got a lot busier than I'm used to and I've been rambling on, <laughs> been rambling on about this and not looking at chat. The Mighty Barrel. Yay! I'm looking forward to getting Carol the Barrel's face sorted. I'm probably going to do a few faces for Carol the Barrel and I'll let you guys vote on a poll for what face you like the most. Let's not create a Mary Sue <laughs> or a Gary. Yeah, guys, I, this is all, like, when it comes to writing dialogue and developing the characters, I want your help with this. I want you to come up with some awesome dialogue, some funny lines, some witty little comments and i'm probably going to add to the discord a dialogue submission thing so you guys can i'm not actually sure how to do that yet but if anyone has any ideas for how we can come up with dialogue together i'd love to listen there's games like this that use light voice acting where they just make noises and say catchphrases yeah and if if you've got any games in mind that we could take inspiration from just pop a video in uh in the discord and let me have a little peek at it yay use assets with open licenses i do the assets i'm using are all like under the soundtrack i'll be using it's all you know copyright free people like it, all the artists in the rpg maker community like say this is all either for free or commercial projects some even let you use them for commercial projects because they're super generous and stuff Speaking of working on games, I really should fix this netcode. Awesome. Well, I hope that that goes well, Big Green Pop. Thank you for hanging out with us and being awesome. Rosie's so passionate about this love. And oh, thank you, Moon. I am. I'm, I'm very, like... I think, like, if someone was to ask me what is your passion, it would be creating stories and stuff. I'm My passion always... Like, the reason I love RPGs is because of the stories and the characters in them that's why it's my favorite genre i couldn't care less about gameplay to be honest i just play games for the stories that's how it's always been for me hi media welcome to the stream how old are you well you're going to be shocked because i do look 10 years younger than i actually am i'm 30 this year and i'm, I'm quite proud of looking still like a high school student when i'm 30. i get id'd all bloody time so i obviously do carol the barrel carol the barrel heart i know carol the barrel's awesome she already already everybody's mvp okay so i was showing you guys the character creator so we're gonna make jesus jesus is pretty tanned right this took this involves so many assets by the way I was like freaking saving loads of assets, <laughs> different versions of them for about for like a week on end. So yeah, as you can see, you can basically make whoever you want here. And I've even got the option for male characters to add a beard. And Jesus has a beard, obviously. And is he a warrior or a hunter? He could be either. So you get the option of a class as well. Um, we've only got two for the hero because it it would have taken so many different assets and hard work to add any more than that. But someone did say, oh, I would really like to be a white mage, but we will have white mages in the game. Don't worry about that. We've already got a cast. We've already got five playable characters in the game. We've got a sorcerer, a knight, a vampire, a herbalist and a diplomat. Um, obviously no, none of them have joined the party yet because we haven't even begun <laughs> but that too we've got planned as our playable characters and we've got more to come as well hopefully so uh, um, yeah we get, I'm sure there'll be a white mage among them eventually and every all of them are playable so yay I thought I was old then Rose everybody thinks they're old I, mean, I, I look so young I look like a little baby Everybody says I'm they I look in my early twenties at most. But nope, I'm an old lady. I'm an old lady. I got a good jeans, right? It's either my jeans or my hermit lifestyle that makes me look young. In what language is this written or engine? It's in the RPG Maker MV engine media. It's a bit pricey on Steam, but I bought it on a discount. And it's very, very like 
friendly very user friendly very easy to make games in so if you're not even a game maker you could whip something up with that software super easy but it can get a little bit more complicated if you want to start adding your own scripts and features um but yeah i've been using that software for a long time so it's the one i'm more experienced with what about black mages yeah well we got a sorcerer and he kind of a, a sorcerer character as a hood so he's probably our closest thing to black mages but there's no reason we couldn't have black mage in the store if it won on a poll like this this guys there's no limit to creativity in this story it's all going to be voted on polls on the discord um as you can see well we've already got our first poll up this is a voting only poll though, but there is going to be community polls where you guys can put your own suggestions in. And I'm going to get all that put up on the Discord, hopefully in the next day. Um, so uh, yeah, it, 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 whatever wins the polls will be the direction we're going to take things. So hope we've all got some cool ideas. And welcome back Gamer Dash, how are you doing? I'm close to your age, someone called me the other day because he thought I was 19, I know. My sister got ID the other day, she's two years younger than me, she's 27. But she got ID'd and she, my sister actually looks older than me. But uh, she even got ID'd she, she's got a baby face, I guess. And uh, I felt better because I thought, well at least I'm not the only one in this family that looks like a, a teenager. <laughs> Gotta take it as a compliment. I used to be offended. I used to think, why do I have to look so young? But as I'm getting older, I'm actually starting to like it that I look young. Because who wants to look old, right? <laughs> no one. Gonna have to look a while. I've got a kids gymnastic class now. I hope that goes well, Kung. Thanks for hanging out. And even if you guys have to look, um, just keep an eye on the Discord. At these, The poll, hang on a sec. The poll, I might actually... Uh, Oh, let, we'll do that in a sec, but I was going to put a date on the poll. But I'm probably going to close the poll at about 6pm tomorrow. So it's going to be open for at least 24 hours. So don't worry, there's no rush to vote on the polls. Gamer Dash! Oh my goodness, 15 months! Gamer Dash, that is such a long time. Thank you so much. Let's have some love and hype for Gamer Dash, guys. I appreciate you. That is a hell of a time. You guys have been subbed for like double figures. It's crazy. And I don't know how to thank you for... Well, anyone, even anybody that's subbed for just one month is insane to me. Never mind double figures. So, I, you guys are the best. Thank you for all the support. I mean, I absolutely love streaming. But you guys make me even more want to stream. So, thank you so much. Yay. Thank you for the hype, guys. I wish someone would ID me, do you, binary? Maybe someone will one day. My sister used to work in retail and she admitted that she used to ID people. She ID'd someone who was 50 once just because she, she, you'd get in trouble if someone happened to be underage. What platform are you aiming with this game? I guess my bar. Nope, but it will be Windows PC. I mean, I do believe RPG Maker is available on mobile, but I don't, with the screen sizes, I'm not sure how that's going to work, if I'm honest, because I'm using uh, a 1080p monitor to make this game, and I am going to probably make smaller resolution sizes that can be changed in the options for people with smaller monitors, but um, the 1080p is going to be the default. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, this is this is, we got it full screen. The actual default RPG maker is like Undertale. It's just a small window, but I've decided I want it full screen. Red Mage for life. Yeah, we should. I hope. I hope I do have a Red Mage class on the character form for the character submission sheets. I mean, I don't know if you. So, I mean, I think most of you guys have seen the character forms. I hope so. If not, exclamation mark project will lead you to that. Can I see your ID binary thing? Rex has seen my ID, didn't you? You forced me to show it you. Yeah, I was embarrassed. Because the picture's taken years ago. 
And I had side bangs, and I don't like myself with side bangs. I prefer full bangs. Rex makes sad dreams come true. Sorry, I can't say you are Colin, but I mean nothing personal. You don't look old, you know. Yay. And Ad admit it though, you you'd be like, what the hell if someone ID you? Need to be 20 here to buy alcohol. Back when I was 35, I still got carded. Always funny to watch the cash. It feels silly after the fact. Yeah, that's what they like with me because they ID me because they obviously think I'm 17 years old. And then when they see that my birthday, birth date's 1989, they're, they're like, what? They seriously think I'm some born in the year 2000 or something. But nope, I was born in the 80s. <laughs> Also, Jesus. And yeah, you can still use keyboard even if you use a controller, which is pretty neat. Jesus. So, well, Jesus is going to be in the game. Now. So, this, I did, oh, shot. Yeah, I've accidentally deleted it all because I've got that as an option. Damn it. Oh, wow. Pretend that he's there. Pretend he was in the game. He's there. He's done. <laughs> But, uh, let's see the poll now. I want to see the poll. We got some more votes in, guys, on the poll. Get your votes in. We need more. The poll's going to be open for, uh... It's going to be... Oh, damn it. I forgot to say that the poll's going to be open for 24 hours. Hmm. How are we going to do this? I should have put it in the actual poll, that note. I'm going to have to put it down here. Paul will be open, will be open until, oh no, the poll will close, that's a better wording. What's the day tomorrow, Tuesday, the 2nd of April, yeah, because it's April the 1st, April Fool's Day. It's BST now, isn't it? Jesus Christ. I'm sorry for you guys that aren't in my times and it must make it confusing. What's this song for? Oh crap, this is from the Final Fantasy XV trailer. I was obsessed with this trailer. Since I grew up my moustache, I don't get ID'd very often. Yeah, you're an old man now, Rex. <laughs> Shave that moustache and you'll look like a teenager again. Yeah, this is 15. Yeah, I was in love with the trailer for this, with this song in the background. I'm really excited tomorrow I can start taking my medicine twice a day. Yay, I'm glad for you, Kindled. Glad to hear it. One of the best parts of the entire game. Moonshadow, are you sure you're not me? You like all the same things as me. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I'm not old now. Where did I put my cane? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's BST, isn't it? British Summer Time. That's the new time zone. But yeah, having that there, you guys know now when it's going to close. It just... All this will get deleted. Once the poll closes, it will get deleted. Because there's no way, unfortunately, to lock the polls in Discord. People can use reactions on them forever and that would be bad so what i what i'm gonna do is delete all the polls at once there once the deadline's been met but i am gonna take screenshots or make some sort of archive of them all and transfer them over to a, a website maybe so that we've got members of all this and i yep yeah, we got we got the vote oh my goodness guys oh my goodness we're getting them in let's have more votes lurkers people popping in that's the link to the, uh, that's the link to the poll. I'm not old. Oh, I've read that. I'm a long glass brother. Isn't BST a Korean pop group, is it really? It's all very confusing. I know. Why can't, why can't the Tom Jones just stay the same, right? So, I'm curious, guys. When you click that link, what does it lead to? And that goes for people that aren't in the Discord either. I'm curious if it sends you straight to here and lets you vote anyway. Or whether it forces you to join the Discord. I'm, I'm assuming it forces you to join. Because uh, you wouldn't be able to vote if you're not a member, if that makes sense. 
but yeah I, I just hope it's easy that's all because it was super easy when we voted on poll websites and I hope it hasn't made it too complicated but this is our practice channel uh, zoom out yeah I can't think of a community poll for us today but on Wednesday or Friday we might have a community poll so that will be fun and with the main story this was our winning submission here so this is only on our test channel at the moment I haven't transferred it over to our uh, to our proper channel but yeah we, we're gonna start actually doing that once we've done the NPCs and added them to the village when, and we're gonna write dialogue together so I think I'm hoping we can make some progress today and I think I should stop rambling on now and actually uh start doing Carol the Barrel what do you think this is Sid's theme from Final Fantasy 7 who knows that it's finished now okay guys so uh i like it when you ramble i ramble a lot when i'm super into something this is from final fantasy a isn't it i'm a final fantasy expert <laughs> okay right carol the barrel where are you here, here she is okay let's make that a little bit thicker oops wrong layer but yeah I've got I've got the other characters now that one's me by the way it's pretty cool because there's a character generator thing in this game um, for those of you that haven't seen it I hope I've got a window capture up for this one. Yeah, I have. Is it being a sly poke? It all works like this, it just lets you... I mean, I've added some of my own to this. Um, I edited Swedish's beard character and Rex's. I had to put a hat on Rex's and make my own. Because, because there wasn't a hat that looked like Rex's in existence, I had to do the, uh, my own. So, Rex's character is pretty cool. He's here. Rex is, is the one with the hat on it. This dude here. This little, cute little adorable reptile, right? Totally not an antagonist. He looks very friendly. If they don't arise on me in this complication, I'm going to be upset. Hopefully they do. I mean, it's a nine hour complication. We're going to have to continue this on Wednesday and Friday because the stream isn't going to be nine hours long so uh, yeah we've we've got Wednesday and Friday to see what do you think of Rex guys it looks just like him yeah but yeah I've put those there so we can match the uh, the features up when we do Carol the Barrel's face because the eyes and mouth is, is basically all in this area and I'll, I want Carol to look as much like them as possible I don't want it, it to look like it's not meant to be in the game so uh, yeah which means we got to do the barrel thing down there as well as long as it's not in the way of the face so I think we can make that a bit thicker because I have, um, you guys can't see it, but I do have an image up of the barrel asset that's in the game. So I'm trying to make it look as much like that as possible. And it has two dark rings around it, two dark metal rings, which is what we're doing right now. I think make it two pixels thicker, perhaps. We started doing this last week, but we didn't get a chance to finish it because we got distracted by the polls. Silent and Lost found out for us that our poll website was was terrible. <laughs> Sad times. Right, 
the stream won't be nine, no hours, nine hours long, but oh my goodness. The longest stream I've ever done was a 12 hour one. It was insane. Hmm. Yeah, it looks better a bit thicker. So we're going to copy that and put it down here too. And then I think it's basically done. We might have to put a, a little bit more grime down here, but I'm not sure yet. Where did you get that picture of me? I know. I love how Rex is a reptile, to be honest. It's very fitting. How many pixels is it? Pixels thick. Nine pixels. See, I recognise this track as well, and I don't remember it. I think it's from nine, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's from nine. I wonder if that's too high. That looks a little bit high, so we'll move it down a bit. But yeah, this is all the chill songs from Final Fantasy, so... I mean, Eyes on Me is quite chill and Melodies of Life, right? Oops, I've made it too thick. That's 10 pixels. Twelve hours is the longest stream I ever did as well. Starting out to be a fifteen-minute test stream. You're a streamer, Moon. I didn't know you streamed. Do you still stream now, or are you on a, a hiatus? How does this work? Did you draw those characters using pixels, Rose? No. Um, I I have like put a note in the FAQ section of this game that I haven't. The, the most of the assets are from the actual RPG Maker community, so. Because there's an absolute lot. People are creating open source assets on that forum a lot. Um, but I, uh, I'm, I'm going to do some minor editing, sometimes major editing, and sometimes like now I'm doing Carol the Barrel myself because there's no such thing as a barrel asset in the on the forum. Imagine if someone happened to do a, a sentient barrel. You know what I mean? So in certain circumstances, I will have to create my own ass assets depending on how creative the game gets but for like some things there's already assets out there so yep you've even seen my email rose fish fail yes i'm an absolute big wally <laughs> i'm such a wally you're gonna read my comment like not not this song the one before this was seven oh was it I'm ashamed to myself for not knowing. All the Final Fantasies merge into one for me sometimes. Because it's all my childhood. Because I'm cold hearted and can regenerate my tail if it falls off. You're not cold hearted. Your, your character's going to be lovely. Sounds cool. The characters look cool, including the barrel. Thank you, Gamma Dash. I'm trying my hardest to make it look like it fits, you know. Like, I don't want it to look like it doesn't fit with the characters it needs to look like it belongs from the same game so i'm not even an artist i'm not i don't see myself as an artist i did i studied graphic design so i think that's but graphic designers aren't artists um i'm very like how do i explain describe this when i do art i do it in a way where it's very methodical um and that is not how art should be art's meant to be free and experimental and i really struggle with that i struggle doing that and i think that's probably why i'm more of a designer in that way am i doing no i'm not doing this on the right layer damn it 
There we go, that's the right layer. This one's from eight. I know that it better be from eight or I'm gonna look like an idiot. <laughs> this song could work as a lullaby, so we're relaxing, I know, right? Really is a relaxing. I mean, the YouTube video wasn't lying, was it, when they said it's relaxing? But I know it's from 8, but I can't remember where it plays in 8. Is it, it's not Fisherman's Horizon, is it? The barrel's nearly done. We get to add the face to the barrel soon. To do that, we're going to have to... Um, we're going to have to put it over into Photoshop because I'm using graphic scale at the moment. This is the pro pixel program I'm using. But we're going to have to co copy and paste it in Photoshop. And um, it works better Photoshop for the faces because I tested it out. I just hope it doesn't make my computer lag because it did when I had it open earlier. Nobu knows how to make music, that's for sure. Yeah, he's like literally the best composer ever. He really is. Art isn't meant to be anything. However you however you accomplish it, doesn't matter. True. I always like find that the best artists are very I just can do a slight of that. I'm I really hate making mistakes when doing like art or design. So uh but I think art is about making mistakes. Art's meant to be good and mine's terrible. I think anybody's capable of being art an artist with practice. It, it, it's something that takes practice for sure. I mean, it's not easy, don't misunderstand that. But I do think you don't necessarily have to be a, a born, born to draw person to be an artist you can just practice and get better uh, okay we'll put a bit of a highlight on it oh my gosh it's this theme this is the relaxing one Okay, so the barrel itself, let's just, I'm going to just copy it and put it in so you can see what it looks like. We might have to add a face to this as well, because, but yeah, that's basically what the little pixel barrel looks like in the game, although it looks pixelated here, that's because it's super zoomed in, oops, but I think I've got the colours accurate, I hope, <laughs> so, uh, Yep, let's just see if the eye levels uh, match. Yeah, looks like they do. So we can have all the barrels face very soon. Hype, big hype. But if anyone's intrigued on the progress of the barrel, that that's it. I, I've like layered it. Anybody can make a barrel, a pixel barrel, you know. All it is is, a, is that. 
literally just that and, and anyone can do that and you just uh, layer on top of it <laughs> um, I might put a bit of grime I don't know if I should but we'll see how it looks let me just test something and see well I struggle to even make a stick figure so count me out when it comes to art yeah, it, it's uh, it's not an easy learning curve for sure. I look at some art and I think, oh my goodness, if only I could do that. Why hasn't that worked? Choose a pencil instead. Oops. Oh no, actually, I think I'm fine with leaving it as it was. We've already got a bit of grime around them. We don't want to put too much shade in this middle area because that's where the face is going to be. So uh, I'm, I'm fine leaving that more plain. Um, to be honest, it's not like these characters have tons. I think it, it, look, it fits, doesn't it? Do you guys say it fits? No, no, I could not. I'm probably being a little bit humble. It just uh, sometimes it's looking at the process of artists and how they how they do it step by step, and that can help others learn. That's how I learned. I like looked at how it was when it was simple, and that how they slowly, slowly build the layers on top of things like YouTube video, like time lapse videos, and that can be good for that. And it kind of makes it a little bit less overwhelming seeing what it, you know, was at the start and seeing it step by step done, rather than just looking at the final piece and being like, oh my goodness, I could, couldn't do that. I'm much more com com competent when it comes to story, written a few books in my life. It's it's so much fun to create a world in its story. That's amazing. And I agree, Moon. And really, that is what this project really is. People might think, oh, this is a game dev project, um, but it isn't. There's going to be very little code bits. There's gonna, it's going to be there now and again, don't get me wrong, when I add scripts and I'm going to come across bugs, obviously. Uh, there's going to be bits of art done when I have to create assets from scratch or edit them, but uh, the, a lot of the community stuff with this project it involves the writing and the world building. Okay, so I'm very nervous now because we're gonna we're gonna put this barrel into into Photoshop and we're gonna start adding features to it and building Carol. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna save it. That's as a gal, but I want a print PNG version as well so it can be flat. The gal version is the layered version. Okay, barrel save. You're the best at physical art, you like acting and movement. That's amazing, Kindle. That's a really good skill to have. That's something I I really wish I had, but really lack. I have no coordination or anything like that. And I'm always very awkward, so I can't. But yeah, it would it's very good to be able to do that. It's gonna be great with Res at the helm, it's bound to be amazing. Well, thank you, Moon. I'm I'm very like obsessed with characters and worlds and could easily spend a bazillion hours on tvtropes.org just reading which is the best website in the world by the way for anyone that writes i don't have the patience to draw the basic shapes layers that you kind of need to do any attempt i any attempt to draw end up going for the final project that makes the drawing look bad yes and that's the biggest problem people think they have to start at that final stage and it's not. It's all about building layers and building on top of a very flat, simple piece of art. And really, once you grasp that concept, art 
doing art is a, a little bit less overwhelming but yeah you're right you do need patience that's that is definitely something you need because it's not something you can you can whip up in like 10 minutes or even an hour sometimes okay so the barrel is done if i copy and paste this into photoshop will that work hopefully it does i'm gonna have to close this program now and open photoshop because it's going to be a little bit too demanding on my cpu if i have both of these programs open i think my computer's a lame thingy magic it's a lame oh but i i do think now i've changed my obs settings it might help we might not have problems but we'll see okay let's close that off I want to see how our disc gone poll's getting on. Still three versus four, guys. I mean, this poll's going to be open for 24 hours, so we've got time. And after this stream, I'm going to take a screenshot on, on Twitter and force more people to vote. I'll be like, vote. So I'm hoping we can get more votes than this in by this time tomorrow, because this is a very important poll, guys. The future of our game depends on it. So for those that haven't yet, exclamation mark polls links you to it. Okay, I might have to get some milk in it in a sec because Rose is very, very hungry. She's a hungry one. She always gets hungry at this time, about an hour towards the end of the stream. Okie doke, right. What were we doing? Right, I'm going to open Photoshop. We're going to start making Carol the Barrel. This has been like hyped up for way too long now. Like the making of Carol the Barrel. Ah, Rex's Dinosaur. The, one of the best emotes on Twitch, that one. My goodness, I hope you guys didn't hear that tummy rumble. My goodness. It was loud. Right, so Photoshop is loading up, but it is a little bit on the sly side. But oh my goodness, we have another voting. We're just going to have this pull up for everyone to see as Photoshop's opening. So it's currently a draw, everybody, and I haven't voted by the way yet. I'm gonna, ha I'm not gonna vote until right at the end. <laughs> I'm gonna vote at the end or near the end i might save it till tomorrow morning i want you guys to not be biased by what i say so i'm definitely not going to be voting on stream because whatever one i vote for it's highlighted so you get to say so i'm i'm not gonna make anyone biased i personally am happy with whatever direction this vote goes to be quite honest so there might be one i prefer a little bit more but I'm still happy with whatever one we get. Damn, we're gonna have to get some milk. Okay, so Photoshop. Yep, yeah, we got Photoshop open now. And I'm gonna have a little peek at Discord now and again like that to see how the votes are getting on. Less work with the hero is silent. I guess that's very true, Moon. Because if the hero is silent, we don't have to think about their dialogue. We just think about the characters and NPCs dialogue around them. So um, that is very, that's a very good point. And I think both options have their pros and cons. And because we kind of have a custom hero make, I think, the whole silent hero thing does fit because it's hard to build personality on a custom hero, if you know what I mean. But I, I am hoping to have a romance system in this game and maybe even a good or evil one but you don't have the protagonist doesn't necessarily have to be a talking one to do that i mean in games like a lot of bethesda games have that and they have a silent hero so it's totally fine we, we can still do all that i'm weighing the pros and cons before what i actually would want yeah and it i mean we can look, I mean, maybe we can look at Google and have a look at what people say. I mean, people have their preferences and I'm sure there's discussions on Google about what people like most. But it depends on the game that's being made, really. Okay, file new. Let's just get Photoshop back up. 
The good thing is about using window catch to fight for shop shop is when I hover on file you guys don't get to see all my menus because uh which is a good job because there's a lot of secrets here in these little windows. Um like my name in real life for example. And silly windows uh, 10 doesn't allow you to change your name. I did try but it wouldn't let me. Okay, copy and paste the barrel and let's get rid of that white silly background. Okie doke, I'm going to go get some milk now and once I'm back we're going to add some features to Carol's face. We, we're going to use cat features that are already in the character generator. I'm going to, I did get that up for you, for you all earlier. But I'm going to just remind you of what that is. We have um, a section here with eyes and so we can keep the, the look of the game. We, go, we are going to add the features that already exist but as you can see we have a ton of eyes here. There's a lot of eyes. Some of it's custom content. D is the name of the artist that did this. It's his, his or her logo. And um, we've got eyebrows as well. So, now add those. We've got noses and mouth. So, these are all saved as um, assets, PNG files on my computer. That's how the game's able to import those in. But, um, so I'm gonna open them up on Photoshop and just put them on top of the barrel and we're going to do a few versions of them and then I'm going to let you guys vote on a poll for um, what face you like the best. Whether we do that today or whether it'll be a poll on Wednesday I don't know. Yeah it depends if we finish them so we'll see. Okay so Photoshop. Still a draw guys four votes against four. But the, this is very early days. We're like literally in the first hour of the pod and it's going to be open another 24 hours. So, pardon me. I did my burp again. I'm, I'm becoming a burper. Can't be helped. It happens. We're all human beings. Wait, isn't Ray, Ray Rudd your real surname? Yeah, it is. Gosh, I was born with such a badass family name. I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to leave you guys with the this beautiful Final Fantasy music. While I go get myself a glass of milk, I promise I won't be long.
Hello, I am back, and I haven't got my earphones in. Let's see what song's playing. Oh, I recognise this one. It makes you cry, Moon, or was it the one before that makes you cry? Oh, the, it ended. It was the one before. What, what song was it? Finally, did you miss me? got my milk i am very hungry so i'm gonna just fill my belly a sec oh my gosh we got another vote on the poll okay so if you're rooting for silent protagonist you know get in there and vote otherwise otherwise it might be too late to zanakin from ryan of Anse 10 that's a lovely song Had to go to the potty, oh no. Well, you will be hearing it when you play Final Fantasy X on your Final Fantasy journey, Rex. Be hearing it then. Makes you misty eyed, yeah. Me too. Final Fantasy X is a pretty emotional game, it's an emotional adventure. Lost Odyssey is even more though, but Final Fantasy X I think comes next. And Tetsu, how are you doing? I'm here to kick ass and drink milk and I just finished my milk. <laughs> moss. Is that moss from the IT crowd that says that? It sounds like it's very familiar, the quote. Indeed. I thought so. He drinks milk like me. But yes, this video is nine hours long, guys. So I think we're going to play this background music in our stream for the whole of this week. That'll be pretty cool. Final Fantasy Black background music all week long. I would love to see a playthrough of Last Odyssey. Miss that game so much. You like Last Odyssey as well, Moon. I know that Frostbite likes it. Who comes in Rex's streams? It's his favourite game. It's mine too. So, <laughs> yep. I I just wish it was there was a Steam port for it. That would be lovely because it's such a such a beautiful game. It really is. One of your oh my goodness! How did I not know? How did I not know? My God! Me and Shadow knows what the good games are for sure okay so i think let's just say bye to discord for a bit guys i'm still want I'm, i've got it up because i want you to vote i want you to vote on this poll guys so this is an important one is our hero going to be a silent protagonist or a talking one so poll, the poll's open for 24 hours i am going to put it on twitter after stream so we might if anybody's not in the discord then we might get some people have come in and vote but because i think to vote on this poll it will force you to join the discord it will so unfortunately you will have to have your my discord i've been stuck in it forever guys i've got that but i haven't started it yet oh you've got lost on it it's a great game if you like final fantasy games especially the middle ones you'll like it because it was actually written by Sakaguchi, is that how it's pronounced? And Nobu uh, composes the soundtrack too, so it, it kind of like to me is a mix of 7, 8, 9, and 10 combined in a lot of ways. Lost Odyssey is such a main journey to play through. Give me a remastered P version now. Oh my goodness. I wrote a tweet the other day and I tagged Mistwalker, the devs of that game. And like says, I'm waiting for my PC port with a crying face. But nope, they didn't know, didn't notice. I was hoping that, you know, that would be the tweet to set off a remaster of Lost Odyssey. But it's just a dream. It's just a dream. <laughs> I don't know if it'll happen. 
Miss Dorcas seems more interested in making my podcast. I know, why though? Because I know that Lost Odd did it didn't sell that well, but that's because it was on at the Xbox 360 and nobody on there really appreciated RPGs. It was everyone was obsessed with COD Modern Warfare and Halo. So I do believe if it was on PC it would do much better. For sure. I'm gonna burp again. Stop it, milk. Stop it, milk. Okay, so let's do Carol the Barrel. I'm hyped. I'm hyped for Carol the Barrel. I think we've been delaying this long enough. Um, right, so this is going to be very weird. We're going to have some funny faces. Some might not look right at all. I need a picture of um, the face that won the votes that Rex put in for the submission. So, um, is there a bigger picture of that though? Because I think I've only got a small one. Hang on a sec, let's look for it. Uh, I don't know where to find it. Was it on Polly? Let's go on Polly again. I forgot, I forgot what the link of the poll was. Hang on, let me go on Twitter and find it. Hi Huckleberry, how are you doing today? So good to see you, I hope you're having a fabulous start to your week. How have you been? We're uh, about to do Carol the Barrel's face. Things are fun and we have a poll as well. we got a poll, a very important poll right here. So I'm also encouraging people to vote on that. we got the polls command for it. It's sad. I know it is sad, Rex. I mean, I want you to play it and there's no way for you to even play it because of the fact it's not on the PC. It's a big lame on. Uh, okay, so I need to find a big picture of this face. Uh, is this the one? No. I've got I've got a small picture of the face. So I'm gonna save this image right now. And we're gonna open it right here so we can all see it and laugh at it. <laughs> we're gonna try and get it looking as close to this image as possible. Give me a sec guys, I'm just gonna upload it. Where even is this face from? Where's it even from? Damn, when you forget what you named the image. Oopsie. I do that all the time. I just save the image as a bunch of numbers and can never find it. Okay, here we go. So, see, it's super small. I wanted a big version of it so we could see it more clearly, guys. Rex never played Lost Art to say? No, he hasn't. I mean... I mean, I think, I recommend that game not to everybody because I think it only would appeal to a JRPG audience of fans, but because Rex has really enjoyed 7 and 8, and he, I know he likes 9 too, that it makes me think he's gonna, he would really, really appreciate Lost Odyssey because it's always the people that like those games that like Lost Odyssey. That makes me really sad, I know. I'm gutted too because it's like it's up there to me it's up there to me as it's as good as those middle final fantasies, but it I have it as my favourite ahead of them because it resonated with me more emotionally than any of the other games in the Final Fantasy series. Um I don't necessarily think it's better. Like some of the Final Fantasy games probably have a, a better in other ways, but I because it resonated with me emotionally, it's my favourite one. There wasn't a 9-2, it was 10-2. Yeah, the 10-2. I never, I was never like, um, as fond of 10-2 as I was of 10. 
but I I don't think it deserved the stick it got. It got a lot more criticism than it deserved. I thought that the job system was pretty fun. But the story had a hard one to beat with 10 because ten story was really good. <laughs> I never said nine to ten. So I think I said two as in the word. T O T T double O <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Lol Tetsy making me feel like a fool. <laughs> At the time, Lost Odyssey came out, I felt FL lost a bit, FF, FF lost a bit of its charm, so to me, Lost Odyssey was a true Final Fantasy game. Yeah, and I really, really like seeing pe people that love it too, because it was so underrated. So under, I mean, the reviews on the main websites, like GameSpot and IGN, only gave it 7 out of 10, and I think that's an absolute travesty. Because to me, that game is a 9.5. Like, no less. I don't know what was wrong with them reviews. I like, to me, it's complete bias against turn based gameplay, in my opinion. They didn't like it because it was a modern RPG and made in the late noughties with a turn based battle system. They expected an ARPG, an action RPG, and it's like, sod off. Turn-based is good, and it doesn't have to just be a retro game to be turn-based. Turn-based in a modern game is fine. But the people that wrote those reviews didn't see it like that. And that's why it got a lot lower score than it deserved. To get that game is an absolute gem. And it didn't deserve just 7 out of 10. I'll have to get an Xbox 360 and then Lost Odyssey so I can stream it. You you would actually stream it, Rex. I couldn't guarantee that... I wouldn't know like if I, Lost Odyssey would attract new people to a stream because it's nobody ever streams that game. It's like so under the... I've never seen it be streamed on Twitch before. But who knows because a lot of it is a lot of people's favourite game. And some people might really like to see that game be streamed. I know me and Moonshadow would, would and probably Frostbites as well. And welcome back, Andy Cake. I'm rambling on. Being a rambler about our pages, I look, actually, I really. This is why I like streaming this because we can just geek out about RPGs all day. It's fun. But we need to make this a little bit bigger. It's not going to be pixelated, is it? Can we get it a bit bigger? This was Rex's submission, guys, for the poll for what Carol the Barrel's face should look like. And it won. So um, this is the face we're going to try and get. To, we're going to try and get this face as closely as we can. We might do a few versions of it and then put a vote up so you can vote for the face you like the most. So, uh, right, let's begin then. Um, the path to open these, the path to the files for the eyes and nose and mouth is quite a long one, so you'll have to bear with me. I hope I can remember what it was. Okay, so. It's not showing that window capture, but I'm about to find it, so. Damn, there's a bear, like, it's a really long path. Uh, there's so much crap on my PC, I can never find anything. You're a jam, because you jam. Oh, guys, now Andy Cakes mentioned jam, and I have a confession to make. I, You guys in America call jam jelly, don't you? And you have this, you have peanut butter and jelly as a sandwich. All my life, I thought that the jelly on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches was jello. Because we call jelly jello jelly in the UK. And I only recently found out it was jam. And I was so bitterly disappointed. I want jello on a sandwich, please. Give me jello on a sandwich with peanut butter. Not jam. Jam's boring. <laughs> I'm wondering if weird. Who cares about getting new people? I just want to have fun and play good games. Yeah, and that's the right attitude to have, Rex. Because too many streamers on, on this platform play games because of popularity. And I've never really 
I don't think that's right. I think just play what you like. And that's why I'm just doing this now. I, I'm I'm playing this and nobody's ever done anything like this on Twitch before. So, yeah. It's just play what you want, guys. That's what I say. You have more fun doing it. And also, if I do this, I'm hidden behind it. So, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> and my head doesn't go up that high. I'll be glued to the screen and stream if there's Lost Odyssey. Um, Rex, if you stream Lost Odyssey, I would literally be like that. Like, throughout the whole of your stream. Even if you streamed until 6am, I would still be sitting there like that. Oh, I would literally do it all night, so every night. I mean, I'd try. I might have to watch the VODs. That's what I do with Final Fantasy. I mean, sometimes I, I do miss bits because sometimes it happens. But I do try to catch them on the VODs, anything I've missed, because I really am into the Final Fantasy journey that Rex is doing on stream. I love it. It's all my favourite games at the moment, too. That heart. Lovely eyebrows. I know. We're going to have to get those eyebrows, guys. We're going to have to make sure we get them. Also, let's... Uh, under program files, but I can't... Okay, I found it. Program files... Steam version 2 uh, Steam apps Oh my goodness So many folders to find all this um, Common RPG Maker MV Generator Face Yeah I actually have screenshotted the, uh, where, where I find this Because I've never remembered it um, Female She's a lady. Carol the Barrel is a lady barrel. I wonder if there's going to be a barrel village in the game. Imagine. <laughs> a, a, a village full of sentient barrels. We'll make a ton of barrels with different faces. That would be so wacky. Okay, so I am actually got the folders. I don't know which eyes to open. Um, I might open a few. I don't recognise this track either. We have jammed too, it's just different. <laughs> Depends on consistency. I love Jello. I'm a big fan of Jello, I am. I'm, I'm not as into jam though. I love peanut butter. I would bunk up on food and drink, spend all week glued to streamy. <laughs> it's online, I love it. You guys are too kind. You are. I can see it being a perfect match though, Rex plus Last Odyssey, it gives me good vibes just thinking about it. Yeah, I think um, Rex would like it, I know it, because only because of how much he's, he's enjoyed 7 and 8. And if he enjoys 9 and 10, just as much as he's enjoyed 7 and 8, I'll say even more that he'd enjoy Last Odyssey, because it's always those the, those fans of middle the middle Final Fantasies that love that game. Because it's it just the same. It's the same writers, the same composer. Because they left Square Soft to form their own company after after 10. And that's when Lost Odyssey started getting developed. That's why t 10, tw 2, and 12, and 13 don't have that same feel as those previous Final Fantasy. It's for that reason. Because they went from Square Soft to Square Enix. and change things around in the company the team and that and that is why lost odyssey is the closest to them out more than the actual final fantasies that came after can i romance the barrel oh my goodness i will definitely say that could be an option it we will probably put a put when it comes to the stage of the game where we build the romance system we will probably like have like a list of the characters that can be romanced or something and people will have to like give permission whether they want their character to be romanced for example the ones that already have a character in the game i know that joe boy said that he wants his character to be romanceable so he's given permission so it's up to the person some people might think i, I don't want to be romanced but <laughs> yeah, well, there'll probably be a lot of romance spawns, and I do definitely think the barrel should be one of them, <laughs> to be honest. It will make it quite funny. Barrel husband and children, yeah. Human, half human, half barrel kids. How bizarre would that be? Jello chocolate, yeah. Oh my goodness, is there such a thing as jello chocolate? 
Really? <laughs> In the barrel, oh my. It's FF's father after all, Sakaguchi, whatever his name is. I say Sakaguchi, but I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it. But he's the king of those Final Fantasy games. And yeah, he's the one that wrote Lost Odyssey as well. Yeah, it's the, it is. It's Final Fantasy without the title. I want to romance everyone. <laughs> Yay. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to make the romance system. That would be super fun. I'm really glad that RPG Maker allows that, that has that as a plugin. It's fantastic. But then I won't feel special. <laughs> Moonshadow wants to romance the reptile. I love it. <laughs> romance system. I just want you to say it, Rose. Jello chocolate, is that all good? That emo. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to hurry up and open these eyes. Okay, I'm going to open a few. I don't know which one. I'm going to open a few because I don't know which ones are going to look like that one the most. Open. Oh my, oh my goodness, that's a few eyes. We haven't got the pupils though. This is just the the outline of the eye wheel. We'll add the pupil after. So we're gonna have to pick which of these fit with the shape more, most. What shape would you say that the, those eyes are like? I hope that I can do this justice. I'm definitely going to need your help. And also, I'm going to have to put my webcam in front of this image. Because uh, it's cutting me off. There we go. That's better. Oh, my goodness. That email. Is that not Jen's? I think it's not Jen's email because I've seen that quite a lot. Okay, so she, the eyes are quite, they're not round, to put it that way. So we can get rid of any overly round eyes. But we're going to do a few of these. We're not, the first face we do isn't necessarily going to be the one it ends up being because I really do want you guys to vote. I'm going to do at least three faces, I think. And then we'll put them up on a poll so you can vote. And also, let's just check Discord again. Oh my, we can't see because it's in the way. Is that a draw? Have we got a draw? We've got a draw at the moment, guys. So, it seems it's very split. Some people like the silence, some type like the talking one. Oh my goodness, why have I put a, a talking one? I've like, the word, you know, that's really weird. I should have called it a talking protagonist. Oh well, who gives the talk? Okay, <laughs> right. Okay, so get the votes in if you haven't voted already, guys. It's opening till tomorrow. Let's get Photoshop back up. This is from Nine, this song, I think. Oh, where's our little... There we go, it's back. Those eyes could work. Those ones are a bit large. So much choice, so much. I'm dis I'm indecisive, so. It's the eyebrows that are the defining feature on this, though. Let's face it. We'll start off with these ones. Oh my goodness. All we've got is the eyes without a pupil in them and it's coming together already. <laughs> I'm going to have to put a template behind it, I think, though, so we can see if we've got them levelled. So I'm going to just open graphic scale again and copy and paste someone's avatar. Who would win? One silent protagonist or one talking person? I know. Why did I put a talking one instead of a talking protagonist? I think you guys understand what I 
I mean anyway. It's obvious what I mean. <laughs> I'm usually on the ball with wording. Okay, so who, who are we going to use as our template? We'll use me. Oh my god, is this Tifa's theme? It is, isn't it? Okay, so all the characters kind of like if we have a look here. Graphics girl, where are you? For some reason, graphics girl isn't showing up. It did before. But, so I can't show you, but all the characters are looking to the side, so we have to kind of replicate that. Oh, we're going to have to lock that because it keeps moving. Okay. So, pupil time. We're going to have a lot of tabs open. Put it that way. What I what colour eyes does Carol the Barrel have? I can't tell from that picture. They look kind of greeny hazily. What do you guys think? <laughs> They're definitely not blue. I think a hazily green would work because I think that would really complement the colour of the barrel. <laughs> it would look beautiful. It would match perfectly. Where's the pupils? Okay, I found them. All the ones I can see are blue. So we might have to change the colour, but that's easy. Not a problem there. The pupils are quite round. So. Open four. We'll use these ones and change them to green. Or brownie hazel or whatever. Hmm. Positioning. We'll, we'll see at the end. We'll make sure the positioning's right at the end. Green is a good choice. Let's have a look then. Uh, it's not like a bright green though. Oh no. What do you reckon? Should we have it as a more dull green? Or black, to be honest. Black, oh my goodness. Looks like a demon. Is this what you want, Carol the Barrel, to be a demon? <laughs> oh my, it's hard to like make black eyes look good because they, look, they end up looking like a manky grey scale. But we could do something like this, like... Let's just test something, like for example this, and then just, uh, just ends up looking like silver to be honest. Actually black eyes and smaller pupils, that's what I see in the heart picture. Yeah, it's hard to tell. 
But we got a few eye versions. So what we're going to do, we'll, we'll leave these ones as they are. We'll du duplicate it or whatever. <laughs> copy and paste it. Um, we'll copy and paste it. And we, we're going to we're gonna do a few different per pupil versions. Don't you worry, we're going to have a few faces so you can guys buy on the one you like best. I don't want anything set in stone with Carol the Bell's face. Just, yeah, I want you guys to to have the pick of what face you like most so we're gonna we're gonna make them all look very different oh my goodness where's it gone where's my bloody cat i've got so many tabs open as you can see at the top that i can't even find the one the, the file we're using anymore here we go where's the other one the one we copied i need to organize this better I'm going to have to just close tabs because there's just too many. Okay, we're going to have to do things another way. Uh, let's just close that one. That's We've used that one. Okay, we'll, we'll, we're going to use that eyes for our second face. We're going to we'll do three faces. We'll do three faces and used if completely different eyes and pupils for each one but still so they all look like that to a degree if you know what i mean we don't want them to look too different i'm trying to think of those eyes a little bit big but those ones might be a bad fit maybe hi papa um do i stream full time i stream on mondays wednesdays and fridays three days a week and uh for about three three and a half hours for each of their streams so it's probably more of a part-time more of part-time streaming but I, I i do stuff off behind the scenes off stream like i'll be working on this game on my days off doing the boring bits so uh if you're intrigued papa here is our command about the project i only really just started doing this but i'm having a lot of fun and welcome to the stream rose check out my link oh okay kindled sorry i didn't catch that i've been so busy staring at carol barrel that i've been i've not been looking at my chat how dare i okay give me a sec i'm opening it up oh my goodness is this what you want carol the barrel to look like holy crap i love those eyebrows and to be honest, Carol the Barrel, her eyebrows are going to be the ultimate feature. Those eyebrows will make a difference to that face. You think light brown, Andy? Kate? Wait, is the barrel actually light brown? It is, yeah. Hi, Bulb. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good Monday. Good to see you. But that, that's funny. That's funny kindled. We're going to get them eyebrows in for sure. But so for those that are just coming in and wondering what on earth is going on here. Hang on. I keep losing my main file. In. It's been so long since I've used Photoshop that I forgot. Oh, oh, duh. That's it. That's the easy way to get to Val's window click it we've got um a barrel character in our game a sentient barrel and um, we're currently just building the face for, to, for the barrel and it's it's gonna look like this thing here on the the left this is what won the poll for the votes of what the face should be like so here we go she's called carol the barrel have you made any games before nope i'm uh, very inexperienced but i've dabbled in in RPG Maker and I've, I'm one of these people that start projects and never finish them that is me <laughs> I've, I've probably made quite a few games in RPG Maker but from when I was about the age of 10 but yes we, we don't want to talk about those games because they, <laughs> they were they were very bad I wish I still had them now I would love to look back at them but lost them lost them over the years Day off, yeah. I hope you're having a good day off. Didn't know you came here. I know, right? This is Rex's first time in the stream. <laughs> I'm full of surprises, all getting completely predictable. Yeah, it's your first day here, isn't it, Rex? <laughs> 
Okay, so right, what we'll be doing? We 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 we're working on another face for the Baron, and we're about to. Oh my gosh, these are angry eyes. This is this is interesting. So that's uh, face number two. So we've got that's face number two. And that's face number one. So we're going to change the pupils though for face number two. We won't keep the same ones. So which ones did you recommend, Rex? Black eyes and smaller pupils. Okay, so we'll have a small... They're not like tiny, tiny pupils though, are they? They're, they're medium but probably a bit smaller than the last one we had. Can't see, it's so small. They're big. To be fair, all these pupils are quite on the large side. Let's have a look if them. Um... Or are they a bit smaller? Maybe we could use those ones. Let's see how these look. But the thing is, Carol the Barrel doesn't really have eyelashes, does she? Not the one in this picture. So I'm starting to think these eyes don't suit. Oh no, guys. I kind of like the attitude sass that comes from that eye shape, but... Hmm. They're definitely more oval, and they don't flick up like that. But it's, it, it's di really the, the, the eye shape we're using here in this one is really the, the closest thing we've got to that, I think. Depends. Should we, should we use the same eye shape for all of the faces or should we vary it up? Let's see what the pupils look like on this one. Hmm. You can take some liberties. It should just be fine in that same style as the heart one. Yeah, I just want you guys to be able to. Cause I want to. I want to do a few though. I don't want to like put something together now and be like, "That's Carol." I want you guys to have a vibe on a few faces. I think that'd be fun. So um, that's kind of why I wanted some different faces, but maybe we should make them not look too different because they've got to still look like this picture. So you think they look black, the eyes? It's like kind of a deep, dark, deep brown in a way to me. Oh no. So these are a bit too bright, but we can do this. It's a bit... Okay, well, what do you think about this colour? We, I've got an idea to make them brighter a bit though. We want to keep the white marks, so. Let's get rid of the blue. That way we've still got the uh, the little glow in the eye like it's meant to. But to me, that is kind of the colour, but maybe I'm wrong. You think it's right, Rex? You had to vote for which face so you can make some more faces and have another one. I guess you're right. Maybe I'm being overly, overly, yeah, over the top with the polls. Um, <laughs> maybe I am. I wanted to have a peek in the Discord and see how the votes are getting on. 
five against five still. Okay. We need more. We need more votes. Hi, Pink Zap. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Happy, happy Monday, the 1st of April to you. How's it going? Okay. So I think those eyes are pretty pretty cool. Rex wants me to just make the face and not bother putting up a pal, I guess. I guess I'll I, I see I see a point now, to be honest. I see a point. We've already done a pile for the face. Uh okay, let's just close all these eyes then. And we've already got a poll today. We've got a are we gonna have a silent protagonist or a talking protagonist? And that's uh we probably because we're doing this three times a week now. We we're gonna have probably only one poll a day, two max. Um because when we, we streamed it only once a week, we'd do about four polls in one day and it would get pretty pretty intense. It was fun though. But I think it's nice to like to spread it out and have one poll a day or two polls a day now per stream. My goodness, April is already here, I know, right? How fast has this year gone? It's just, it's pretty shocking. It's pretty shocking. Okay, so, no, okay, go away. Um, nose, mouth eyebrows and cheeks we gotta get them cheeks in haven't we <laughs> we gotta get them okay and to be honest i might i'm not going to promise anything it all depends on how time consuming this is going to get but i am very tempted to do different facial expressions so we'll say but that kind of will give Carol the Barrel a bit more personality. But we're going to just do the default face for now. And if we're going to do expressions, we'll add them at another time. What do you reckon? Do you think expressions could be fun? Tax day, oh damn tax day. I got, I got a letter for my student loans today. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I did my taxes last night, took me 20 seconds. April the 15th. Oh my goodness, do you know what else is April the 15th? Game of Thrones season. Is it season 8? Or is it season? I forgot. Game of Thrones, the, the, the first episode of the final season. So yeah, I'm going to be fucking fangirling on April the 15th. You'll do it on April the 14th. And how are you doing, Bear? It's good to see you. I hope you're having a good week. We are making Carol the Barrel. Who here doesn't love a bit of Carol the Barrel? She is a, a Sunday, a cheeky, cheeky type. That's what she is. Let's do the nose now. I think noses are pretty straightforward. This one won't be too complicated. There's so many though. There's like about 50 noses. So I just have to... I have to just... What, her nose, right? It's not a little cute button nose. It's a long nose. So we've got to make sure we get that right. Because a lot of these noses here are little cute button noses. Gimme, give gimme give the noses. Oh my goodness. I don't think there are. I'm going to have to go in the male noses because all the female noses here are all, all little cute, little cute noses. With no like big ones so we're gonna have to go into male noses because i think we're gonna have we're actually gonna have noses that look more like that face here carol yep yeah, carol the barrel that's the name that was voted on we had loads of good ones i have to say 
I applied for a new job and heard back for a background check. Really hope you get this job and can start soon. Ooh, are we allowed to know what sort of job it is kindled? Good luck with that. I know, I know you can do it. I believe in you. Give me them noses. I can't find one nose that might work. Even the guys, even the male noses are really like cute and small. Right, so these are the only ones really that could work. Okay, well there's this one, let's uh, copy and paste. Oh god, oh goodness, it's a human nose, it's skin colour, this is not what we want we might have to i'm going to actually edit it a bit to be honest so it looks a bit more like the nose we've got um we because we will have to edit it anyway because we kind of human skin on a barrel no ridiculous <laughs> okay so uh, let's get rid of the, the nasty human skin carol is made out of wood not skin Girls can have gross large noses, just like mine. It's not gross. We, we, we're all beautiful, whatever, whatever shape and size we are. Hello, you wonderful creature. Oh, thank you, Cereal. That's very kind of you to say. How are you doing today? I hope we're having a, a good start to your week. I'm doing good. We're having some fun making good old Carol the Barrel. But we need to get this nose just like the one in the picture, so... Let's do that. Right, I've got an easy idea. We gotta get rid of this pink skin, so let's um, see what we can do here. Get the same colour as the barrel. I mean, we could have like a black nose like in the picture, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna try and get it the set so it looks like it belongs on the barrel, ideally. And not just stuck there like some kind of tattoo. It's a human barrel after all. Well, no, not a human barrel, but you know, it's a, a barrel with a face. Eyes on me. Yes, this is eyes on me. You, you got it, Rex. We was waiting for this song to play, and it's here now. You happy? Is Carol just a character so far? Any powers or special attacks yet? Carol isn't a playable character in battle. She's just like a side character that is a bit of a comic relief in the game. She's um she she accompanies the hero and actually is the hero's inventory. So that is her job. She's the inventory of the hero. And I suppose she can just be tucked away in, in his pocket, maybe. Like in every fantasy RPG game, or everything can get little tucked away. Which is pretty awesome. Hmm. So we, I'm going to have to change the shape because also something important we got to do as well. We can't have a random barrel line behind her. So we're going to do this. I thought something looked a little strange. We'll leave that there for now, but we might check. We got it. We got to add the eyebrows anyway, so we'll probably have to get rid of that bit. But we'll see. Bye, eyes on me. <laughs> eyes on someone else. Yeah, she's staring at you. You creeped out. No nightmares. She she's she looks a bit plain at the moment, but when we add them eyebrows, I'm sure it's going to make all the difference. So her nose is pretty straight. This current nose is a little bit bendy. So we're gonna 
it's attached to the eyebrows as well so we're gonna have to make it a bit go a bit long over I think this bit needs to be a bit wider as well. Actually, I th there was me thinking the nose was going to be the easiest, and actually, it's the uh, probably they're going to be the heaviest edited bit. Hmm, actually, that bit kind of comes in. Let's make it longer. I oh, know, damn it. It's actually hard. Noses are hard. <laughs> At least we've got rid of the pink, the pink skin. Just waiting for my song as well. Hopefully it starts before stream is over. Oh. Which one is it? Are we allowed to know where? Which one it is, uh, Moon? Or is it a surprise? If it doesn't play today, it'll definitely play on Wednesday and... Uh, and Friday because we will be continuing this it's a nine hour long YouTube video of Final Fantasy songs so we will be uh, playing this in the background for the rest of this week's streams as well I'm sure we're gonna get some beautiful songs hmm So we kind of made it longer so when we add the eyebrows it will kind of be attached. <laughs> kind of. Attached nose and eyebrows. This is the this is what makes Carol so unique. If anyone like can see the thumbnail for this stream at the moment in Twitch, they'd be like, what the hell? is this barrel <laughs> what the freak is you can't really tell what it is at the moment but also why have we still why have we got that back there we go there we go that's better i'm actually going to get rid of the rest of that because it looks a bit silly having a random barrel line this is why i didn't want too much detail on the middle part of the barrel when we were doing the barrel and we'll probably get rid of that bit there as well. I'm actually quite scared of Carol at the moment. <laughs> it's creepy. What do you guys think of the nose? Anything need changing? Maybe a bit of a wider section here. Stretch it out a bit. Oh, Melodies of Life. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Moon thinks I'm forgetful. I am. I can be forgetful, that's it. I'm good at remembering certain things, like long t more long-term memories rather than short-term memories. Things that I'm told, like in today's stream or in the last week, I end up forgetting. Hmm. I'm like looking back and all thinking, what can I do? Well, we can always change bits at the end. We need to get the eyebrows and mouth in first so we can get a better idea of how this is looking. Some things are just not important. Well, it's definitely important to remember how much you love melodies of life, Moon. I 
there's a cool game I just remembered that a girl and her robot posted in Discord. Awesome Kindled. I'll check that out. Have we got any more votes on the polls yet? Bloody Carol's in the way. I don't think we have. I think it's still a draw. Still a draw, guys. So, polls, if you like to vote. Right, now the, the next question is, are we going to add the eyebrows or the mouth? I'm thinking eyebrows. Let's add the eyebrows first. The eyebrows are going to, like, be so important. I hope the females have, like, bushy eyebrows. If not, we're going to have to go in the males. They're a very funny shaped eyebrow, I have to say. I don't think we're going to get anything that looks exactly like that, but we can manipulate the shape, I guess. Oh my goodness, there's no thick ones. We've got some, I've actually found something that could be the shape. But they're not thick enough, but we can edit them. The blonde as well. She can't have blonde eyebrows. I think they're going to have to be... Um... See, that is kind of the shape, how it dips in and then goes out. But, yeah, they do need to be thicker and need to be dark way thicker than that we can just use these as a bag she looks too no this is not, i'm not satisfied with this let's look in male eyebrows mouth brows <laughs> i'm sure there's some bushy ones in the males fingers crossed Oh wow, there's some bushy ones. Oh my goodness, I've got a few, but they're not, they don't match the shape, but wow. They are bushy. Those are very furry eyebrows. Carol doesn't look like she's got furry ones, but um, just out of pure curiosity, I am going to look what they look like. I, I, I have to know. <laughs> what do they look like if they're black? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god, this could work if we get the shape right. This could work. <laughs> what do you think of that kind of thickness, guys? They're kind of fluffy, though, but weirdly, I like them. <laughs> we got a few more to try. There's a there's a bushy non furry version as well, so let's have a look at that one. This is the bushy non furry one, but let's have a look. Let's look at the difference. We'll hide the those ones, get these ones on. Blonde is ridiculous. It does not go on a barrel at all. So that's that's Carol with non-bushy ones, but we will might have to change the shape if we go for those. And that's Carol with bushy. What do you what are you thinking? Make them less angry and need some thicker like those eyebrows just made her into a serial killer, you think? These ones? Well, we're gonna make them less angry, but she's a Sunday, so she she's meant to be a little bit angry, I guess, with a bit of cheekiness thrown in. Maybe flip them upside down, let's have a look. 
Let's just have, we're gonna experiment for sure, guys. We ain't gonna just leave it like this. Oh my goodness, she looks so sad. <laughs> She looks devastated. Honestly, our bros make such a difference. <laughs> Not a serial killer anymore. Just a depressed barrel. Flip the other one upside down. Oh my god, this is too much fun. So you like the non-fluffy ones, Rex? Let's have a look. Oh my god, tragic. <laughs> they all look sad with the plate. You like them both? Hmm. I'm thinking she needs. I'm thinking non furry just so she looks more like the picture. I want to get it as much as possible like it. But if we ever go to a barrel village in the future and we can make more barrels, then we can do one with fluffy ones then. Rotate them so they don't look sad, okie doke. We'll do this one first. But I'm thinking of doing expressions. So if we do do expressions, eventually we will have some sad ones. We'll see. We'll see. I, I don't want to. I think I can't. They're not too hard to do, but we'll see. I think it needs to be slightly bit more rotate, but we have we're gonna have to add a bit more brow down here so it joins with the nose. Also, what has happened to the sharpness? We're gonna have to sharpen it again. Dava, thank you so much for the host. How are you doing, Dava? Carol's freaking me out, everyone. She's like scary. <laughs> okay, let's lengthen these eyebrows a little bit. I'm gonna just add another layer to put on top of these. Sorry, typos. That's fine. I understand. It's all good, right? Sharpens the barrel. How are you doing, Dave? I hope I hope you're having a good morning. Hope it's treating you well. Jesus, though these eyebrows, I love them. How are we doing? Do you think she looks like the picture we've got? covering her up a bit we do need to add the mouth and the cheeks and I think that's going to make a world of difference I'm still not 100% sure about the nose I think that needs a bit of editing still but I'm waiting until we get the other features on first hmm I think we need to still do that. I don't think that's quite enough. Maybe we need to soften the edges because they look a bit pointy. And they're a bit more round on Carol, so. But at least it, at least the brows are attached to the nose like we wanted them to be. Okay. 
Okay, maybe just add a bit out of outline. Carol's going to be a wall barrel before long. <laughs> coffee and breakfast to try and rally me we'll see if it works i have i had a laugh time this morning i was very happy my uh dad bought some for the coffee machine yay how are you rose carol looks like she's coming along nicely thank you david she's she's making progress and oh my goodness holy butts guys it's 6 p.m no it's not the end of stream yet is it we're just getting started with Carol. <laughs> no, we're just getting started. It can't be the end. I did not know that stream had ended yet. So, yeah, this is what it's like now. I get carried away in the, of the time. I literally just looked at the clock and saw that it's time for the end of stream. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> Maybe Carol is a dark past being a barrel in the military. I know, and I'm excited to get her past, like, decided, guys, because it's pretty... There's a lot of questions at the moment. We don't know. All we know is that it's a barrel, a sentient barrel, who our hero was inside at the start of the game. We still need to do all that scene and the dialogue. Um, but there's so many gaps. We don't know where she's come from. We don't know really anything about her other than that she's a... A bit of a cheeky Sunday sort of character. A bit angry, but getting gets more lovable over time. You're doing great, Rose. I know. Keep going. I wish I could. I wish I could, guys. Non-stop stream until Carol is finished. Um I I want to at least get the mouth on her before we finish, so. I, the eyebrows aren't done yet, they're not 100% perfect how I want them to be and neither is the nose, but uh, we're going we're gonna to finish this off on Wednesday, but I'm hoping that I can have it made it a little bit better by Wednesday, but I'm going to still be doing this on Wednesday with Carol, so um, yay, <laughs> and, uh, and then the rest of Wednesday stream, we're gonna. I've got some NPC editing to do, but I might do that off stream. Um, but maybe we can start some giving some dialogue to the NPCs and start writing Carol, Carol the Barrels dialogue as well. And we're gonna find out by tomorrow. It's twenty four hours from now. Our poll will close, guys. So let's just get that up. We've got a poll right here, everyone. And it needs to be voted on. The question is, who should our hero be? A silent protagonist or a talking? I've put a talking one, but I mean a, a, a talking protagonist. So it's a big decision, this one, about how the direction of the game's going to go. So as you all know, well, maybe you don't, but we've got a custom hero in our game that you make at the start of the game. You get to decide everything about them, the name, the gender, the hair colour, uh, what they look like basically and and uh, that's the character you control in the game but you, you'll meet other characters in the journey such as people in this community um, and the question is are we going to make that hero silent someone that doesn't say anything and just observes the world around them like in Bethesda games Skyrim, Fallout and Zelda and stuff is another game that has silent protagonist um, and or is it going to be a talking one it's all, it's all your choice, guys. So, if you are in the Discord, that's the link to the poll. Oh, we just got another vote in. But yeah, this is our, this poll is open for another 24 hours, as you can see. It will close tomorrow at 6 p.m. BST, which is the time now. 6 p.m. BST now. Um, and I will be closing that tomorrow. I'll take a screenshot of the results and post it up on uh, on social media, Twitter. With the final results so by wednesday stream we're gonna know we're gonna know which one we're going for so we might start the dialogue with carol and the protagonist and obviously how that dialogue is gonna go it depends on the results of this poll obviously so it'll either be carol talking to herself and it'll, it'll be a conversation between two people we'll see 
but I, I said we were going to add a mouth to Carol, didn't I, before we ended this stream. Let's just have a little quick look. I just wanted to update you guys on the part, make sure everyone gets a voting, because it's very important, this part. Very, very important. And I'm I'm okay with whatever, whatever one wins. We can make both work, for sure. That's a quote on your old physics teachers. Well, that's awesome. It does fly. Time really does fly. I'm really excited for you guys to give your ideas about Carol Vi. When the time's right, we will probably flesh her out a bit more. It's difficult to say at this point when that's kind of poll will go up because everything's improvised in this game. But we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. I'm streaming this every Monday, Wednesday and Friday from now on. I'm basically um, a streamer for this. Whatever whatever you call that, whatever the word or, is, or fact phrase is for this type of streamer, I don't know, because no one does this. <laughs> Take your time with the mouth increases. Might the chance my song will come? I'm sure your song will be played on Wednesday or Friday, I mean. More rose is always great. Oh, thank you. And Liquid, I hope I said hi to you, Liquid. I don't know if I did or not. With eyes like these, the characters look ready for a day in some... Well, I won't, not going to lie. There's going to be a romance feature in this game. Confirmed. We're going to have romance options. And someone said that they'd like Carol the Barrel to be romanceable. So, we'll make it happen. <laughs> we will. Hi, Shaw. How are you doing? Oh, my goodness. You're the, the hundredth person that said that. <laughs> I get that one a lot. I think it's, honestly, I think it's the glasses. I don't think I, do I look like her without the glasses on? I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> Hi Wheelo, how are you doing? Oh, managed to catch the streaming on oh, Wheelo. Yeah, just in time, just as we're about to end. It's always a blast to see you Wheelo. I hope you're having a good week so far. And you've changed your name to Blue, I say. You, Wheelo's usually orange. But we were gonna add a mouth and I'm going to just put a random mouth there for now. Let's just get Carol up again. Ghosty, thank you so much for the host. Oh my. It pays to go up a stream a bit longer because I get Wheelow and Ghosty here. <laughs> I'm glad I, I've decided to stream a bit longer than 6pm. But it does mean I'll probably be in a rush, guys, and I'll, and I'll have to because dinner might be ready any second. But I'm just desperate to get a mouth on Carol. So she wears lipstick, so... Let's find a mouth with lipstick. I'm so intrigued to see what this barrel's gonna look like with lipstick, to be quite honest. There better be one with lipstick. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> hmm. There's a lot of mouths here. A lot of angry mouths and smiling mouths. So I suppose she's kind of smiling. I can't even tell what mouth that one is. She needs to show them teeth. I'm struggling to find a lipstick with teeth on, but I'm sure there is one. There's like literally hundreds of mouths here, so. Oops, that is not the mouth I wanted. How are you doing, ghosty? Well, I just found your stream. I think it's the combination of hair and glasses. Well, welcome. It's it's good to have you here. Shara, Shara, I want to say your name, right? Shara, Shara. <laughs> it's my weakness to pronounce your names. It's good to have you here. Welcome. Longer stream, everyone wins. You guys are so, so nice. I need a mouth. Maybe, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it a surprise for you on Wednesday. Remember Carol's face, guys. This is Carol. Let's uh, get rid of the picture. So far, we've got Carol looking like this. She's barely done. I'm still, I'm not happy with the nose. The eyebrows are almost there, but not quite. I think the, I'm happy with the eyes, though, kind of. But uh, on Wednesday, I'm, I'm going to have a mouth here, and you guys will see, see what she looks like with her mouth. And we'll add the cheeks, because we've got some cheeks some little cute pink cheeks to add with she's got such a good bone structure look at that 
that's all going to be added to the barrel and then we'll have a carol the barrel done kind of we'll have to still do a little pixel we'll have to add a face to the pixel thing i'm not sure how we're going to do that because it's a tiny little barrel pixel but we'll we'll do a a very non-detailed version of the face on there yay raindrops look at you gamer dash that is that you're in the top 30 good job you're awesome on wednesday i will have to mouth thank you for the quote wheelie i appreciate it but uh, let's hide photoshop for a sec oh my goodness guys oh my goodness oh my goodness we got more votes in this is crazy 90 quotes oh my god there's been that many holy butts but yes guys this is your last chance we're about to end stream so uh if you would like to vote in our poll let's get it up oops a bit zoomed in um what should our hero be it's a decision between if we're going to go for a silent protagonist or a talking protagonist um, it's a custom hero that you make at the start of the game. You decide their name, their, their gender, their, their appearance. And whatever you decide is the character you control on this journey. Um, so it's based, we're going to have like all the romance systems and maybe a good and evil one, maybe, we'll say. Um, so it'll, it'll, it kind of works similar to every character creation rpg out there a bit like a per pixel version of a bethesda game maybe so it could work where we've got a silent protagonist like that but it could work where we got a talking one as well it it all depends on what everyone's preferences and we'll see what wins because um it's pretty it's a pretty important design decision and that will close tomorrow 24 hours from now and i will show you guys what the winner is when we do when it's done um, we're streaming this again on Wednesday. We'll we'll know what's on the poll by then, and we'll also see Carol the Barrel of the Mouth. So I hope you're excited. Um, and we'll we'll do some more polls. I've got a, I've got a couple more polls in mind. Well, definitely one anyway. So, um, but for those that didn't see, I'm I'm gonna just show. I did like I've been practicing some tests. Last week we had a problem with our polls, the polls we were using, but. I have an idea now. We've got voting only polls, which is what we've done today. Um, we've got these are community polls where people can put in their own submission and it automatically adds a heart reaction so you guys can vote for your favourites. Um, but it's pretty, it's very easy to do this. We've got that for the main story too, where you finish the paragraph. We've done chapter one so far. But I just literally, all we have to do if you want to submit when when there's a one in there that's available for voting um is you just do this community polls our little dragon's in the way but it's exclamation mark community polls and that and it goes straight into there and it's got your submission who it's submitted by with a little heart bite so people can vote for you but this is just our test channel but eventually this will be in the actual channel too when we start doing community polls together and writing the story but right now we've only got the voted only poll in our, our real discord for this one because this was just uh between the two options holy butts i know right okay so i'm gonna start rambling and thank you so much for that follow by the way i appreciate it guys we got do we still got plenty of time to get more votes in i'm excited to see what wins and thank you for a fantastic stream guys i i think you're all amazing thank you for being here and i'm in a rush i've uh, gone over with stream today so um, i am gonna have to rush off now and i will see you on wednesday stream start at 2 30 from now on by the way half hour later than they usually do uh, so i'll see you then see you then guys bye bye have an awesome day